The primary point of this video is to correct some of my math from my previous video that I uploaded yesterday. I was talking about these Solyndra 157 watt solar panels, these tubular solar panels, which by the way, Battery Hookup also has some. They're 210 watt, not the 157s. Um, theirs are used off of a Sam's Club warehouse. Um, Minor new old stock, so I guess these never got installed anywhere. Company's bankrupt, so it's all gone. Definitely no warranty there. Um, anyway, you could take advantage of some of that $500 million that Solyndra got from the uh, federal government and apparently didn't quite work out with. Um, the thing that I got wrong, one pallet of these is 16. 16 panels is two and a half kilowatts. I was saying that eight in parallel, eight in series was 16 panels. It's one pallet. That's not wrong. Eight times two is 16. Eight times eight is 64. So the largest array you can do with one of these, with these solar panels, the largest, you know, two wires to the array uh, setup you can do is 64 panels. That's four pallets, which is about 10 kilowatts. So if you had most MPPT inputs on even grid tie inverters aren't that big. If you had a big like three phase, like a 25 kilowatt inverter, you probably could. Um, but most inverters are in the five to eight kilowatts for the MPP per MPPT input. So you wouldn't typically go that big. And I wanted to give an example of an array that you could do. Um, so the Palmister 5,000 watt inverter that can do 500 volt DC input has an 80 amp charger in it, which means you can do about 4,000 watts um, of charging into a 51 volt lithium battery. And so you could run up to 16 amps input, which means instead of eight in parallel, you'd run six in parallel, keep that down at like 14 amps, and you can run six times five in series. Five in series would give you like 400 and 60 480 volts or so so keep under that 500 volt limit you would then have like 4.6 kilowatts worth of solar that you could feed into that inverter all on one pair of wires so just like here i've got um, one wire there and one wire there because it's one array that's all you would have is just the one pair of wires going back to the inverter. So very flexible in that sense. So I just wanted to get this video out real quick. I realize it's not super detailed, but an example of an array and correcting my previous statement of 16 and 64, because apparently that's the same thing.